All right, I have an iPhone 6 here, and I'm going to show you guys. Okay, so it's got a bad rear camera and flash, all right? And it happened after. Um, well, I don't, I don't know if it was working before I started or not, because this this came in as a Touch IC job, and I ended up replacing the connector was jacked up, so I replaced the connector, digitized the connector, and then also replaced the Touch IC, and after I did both of those, then the rear, ca then I tested the rear camera, and the rear camera stopped. It didn't work. So rear camera and flash. Front camera works fine. So what I did was I just put a new, uh, tried a new camera, and uh, still no go. And so here I am. So I'm going to show you guys how to. It seems as though most people have um, the most problems diagnosing um, stuff and and figuring out where to start. Really, you know, like okay, you have a logic board, okay camera's broken like what do you do you know and that seems to be the most common problem uh, with people just starting out and uh, to be honest with you I had the exact same problem you know I mean as I posted on some of these forums and some of these Facebook groups and uh, you know I'm like hey you know touch IC doesn't work uh, uh, how do I know if it's touch IC which pad is it under like you know I mean, those are those are common questions, you know. I mean, this is, I mean, this is a common question that most beginners have. Sorry, I'm just touching stuff up here. Cause I think it looks like it's bridged. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna. That's why I've been kind of gearing most of my videos towards kind of diagnosing stuff, you know. And how how do you, where do you start, you know? Okay. By the way, we have some videos out there. Um, we created two courses so far. First one is a uh, iPhone logic board repair the basics, and that basically kind of just goes over all the different kinds of components, how the iPhone works, and um, and then the second course is specific to um, the the three most common problems, which is Touch IC. Uh, charging problems, TriStar, U2IC, uh, and the third one is backlight problems, you know, so so we have a video out there that kind of details all this stuff, and you can go to microsoldering.com and check it out, okay? Alright, let's go back to my main thing here. <laughs> no rear camera, no flash, okay, so when you have no flash, that can be attributed to having a bad rear camera. Okay, if your if camera's not getting power, then you're, not, you're also not going to get flash. Um, a flash, generally speaking. I'm not sure if that's always the case or not, but uh, generally speaking, so the first thing you always do is try a new camera, see if that fixes it. Uh, second thing you do is disconnect the front camera, and vice versa, just to make sure, just to rule out. Sometimes the the front camera causes the rear camera to not work, and, and vice versa. Okay. So I've already done all that. There's a logic board problem at this point, okay? And it's possible that um, replacing the connector did some damage to something on this on the logic board here, okay? I'm, uh, maybe a messed up component or something like that, okay? So I'm gonna take my multimeter out. I'm gonna put it in diode mode here, all right? Diode mode, all right? And what this does is from what I understand, it injects a, a very small voltage into the circuit here, whatever your, whatever your two leads are going to be touching, and it, essentially it tells you the voltage uh, from one pin to the other, okay? And from that, not only is it going to give you uh, continuity, but it's also going to give you um, a voltage which, w you know, when compared to a known good logic board, then you can deduce that um, perhaps there's a component within that uh, circuit that is either failing or missing. Okay, <laughs> so diode mode. Um, I'm gonna start. Okay, so start from the top here, and you just kind of go through each lead. Okay, this one's OL. This one's OL. Sorry, this is 
This is a uh, continuity. This is zero, okay? Which means that there's continuity from here to here. Which means that these are two ground pins, okay? This one's 0.49. This one's 0.49, and and basically it just alternates, okay? So so ground ground, 0.49, 0.49 ground, 0.49, 0.49 ground, and it goes all the way down to the end, okay? So <clears throat> I've already done this already, so and going from the bottom. We got 0.55 volts. Uh, this is ground. It says zero. Okay, and then this one is 0.604. And this one's OL. This is open circuit. So that's that's 0 .4, 0 0.48 is the fifth one, and 0.35. Okay, so I'm gonna stop there because I can't remember anything else after that. So now I have my known good board here. And I'm gonna do the same thing, and I've already tested all that. It's fine, okay. And so I go to the bottom here, and <clears throat> point five six eight. It doesn't have to be exactly the same, but it should be similar, okay. So point five six eight ground, point five nine eight, and then this one is point five seven six, okay. Now what do we get from here? This one says point five seven six, and this one says OL. All right. Which means that we have a problem on this pin. All right. So, <coughs> all right, choked up here. All right, so we are back in business here. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. All right. So there you go. Camera is back in business and we are good to go thanks for watching our video um, I just wanted to kinda go over two courses that we have available on udemy.com right now um, if you go to microsolder.com click on learn and then getting started you'll see that uh, we have two courses available first one is iPhone logic board repair the basics and in this course we go over the basic building blocks of logic board to the tools and equipment necessary to the basic uh, fault finding and troubleshooting uh, this this course is mainly for people looking to get started in the micro soldering it goes over all the components and, and basic troubleshooting tips and stuff like that um, so you can just go to the website and click on the link and it will bring you to the Udemy page to uh, to buy the course and the second course goes over which uh, I wrote part of. Uh, it goes over how to troubleshoot problems and it, in this course we go over the three most common um, iPhone repair problems which is no backlight, touch IC disease and charging problems and we, we kinda we go over in detail exactly how to troubleshoot and fix these things so if interested please visit the website microsoldering.com and uh, you can get some more information from there. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.